Istanbul is an amazing city of different cultures, fantastic food and unique places to visit. Here's our top 10 things to do as first timers in Istanbul. Hi, we're Rob and Tali, Loved Up Lifestylers. We left our 9 to 5 lives in May 2023 to travel the world full time as digital nomads. Headed over to the Blue Mosque today, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, oof, pretty big, big crowds and queues to get in. But uh, hasn't taken long to queue, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing inside. It's pretty cool. I really like the low lights and the massive circular light that you can see behind us. Um, and it's called the Blue Mosque because of all of the blue tiles on the inside um, but I was expecting it to be bluer than it looks at the moment. Ooh, it's quite a lot of uh, not quite red but like a sienna colour. Yeah and it's really pretty. It's very pretty. Beautiful place. We wandered over to Hagia Sophia. Oh, the queue <laughs> is looking a bit crazy, but I think it might be oh, at least because it's starting it's, to move. Maybe because it's prayer time. We finally made it into Hagia Sophia. Very different to the Blue Moss, even though there's like feels like a thousand people around. It has this kind of Calm, serene. A lot of people just sitting, looking, thinking. can't miss coming to Galada Tower. It's a pretty cool region of Istanbul as well. The tower itself can see from all over the city. It looks fantastic. Yeah, it's very popular to have wedding photos here in front of it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's all these kind of little streets leading up to it. it makes for a, a great photo and a great video backdrop. It's pretty cool. No trip to Istanbul is complete without the traditional Kavalti breakfast. And so the place behind us called um, Arada Beirut uh, was recommended to us for the full-on Turkish breakfast experience. So we're going to go and check it out now. I'm so hungry. Good, because there's a lot of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous amount of food. We did try and order one serve, but we had to get one each. <laughs> uh, I know, I want to try everything too. So, this will be cream and honey, halloumi and falafels, and I'm not sure what these two feel. Pepper like. olives, pink and purple olives. Uh, over here is pumpkin and milk jam. Yeah, got some Nutella. Uh, Nutella. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try them. Pumpkin bread. Oh, it looks good. So we've seen these in restaurants with big massive ones. Oh, massive ones, ones. yeah. And tried it, yeah. Oh, and it's just a nice hollow. Oh, it's like pocket bread. Pumpkin jam. Oh. Istanbul has some great nightlife. We loved Kamsati Blues Bar. It was awesome. <laughs> Noah Para Bookstore 
worth a visit. The building itself is stunning. are amazing. The variety of herbs and spices and cheeses and olives is unbelievable. It's absolutely heaving here. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're trying to get to the Grand Bazaar. There's no trip to Istanbul is complete without it. It's just getting there. We've been in the Grand Bazaar about 10 minutes, I think. Yeah. It's crazy. It's hot, it's busy. It's kind of what we expected, I guess. It is. Constant harassment. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Galata Bridge is an iconic spot and has wonderful views across the water to the city. to try Sini ethnic Asian restaurant with fantastic and unique food. Premium Wagyu beef dumpling. Mm. 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 Oh my god, the first thing you notice is the delicious smell and the taste of dumplings. They were so friendly and even shared their baklava with us. Food in Istanbul is outstanding. You can check out our street food vlog right here. We'd love to hear about your experience and any other questions that you have in the comments.